guys welcome back to my channel today i have a haul for you guys i recently went shopping in sephora target elf and macy's and i picked up a few products so stay tuned if you'd like to see what i purchased so the first thing that i have to show you guys are these lashes um they're three dollars they're from elf and i think they're a really good deal because they look extremely real when you wear them, I always get compliments on my lashes and then I tell people I'm wearing falsies and they're like, what? Can't believe it, it doesn't look like it. So, um, yeah. And another good thing about these is that they come with the tweezers, so if you prefer to put them on with the tweezers, you get a free pair here. And yeah, I just really like them. And it comes with the full band and also the ones for just the end. The next thing that I have to show you guys are these Eyelore Lashes by Vegas May. Um, they're really, really pretty. I like the way that they look. I only paid like $9 for these, which is good because they come with the glue and they're also reusable. So the next thing that I have to show you guys is a mascara from um, NYC. This is my favorite mascara of all time. It's only $4 and it works so well. It separates my lashes. The brush is really big, so it really captures every lash that you have and like coats it nicely. Um, it doesn't clump as much. I mean, I don't mind clumpy lashes because that's just my preference. I prefer the baby doll eyelashes, but I don't know. For those who don't like the clumping, you should try this. And it's only four bucks, so. The next pair of lashes that I have to show you are these Sonia Kashuk's. Um, I haven't ever tried these before, but I think that they should be really good based off of the way that they look. Um, I also like the packaging because when you're finished with them, you could always put them back in here and they'll be really secure. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try these. I think I paid $5 for these or $6, something like that. So yeah, I got these from Target. The next thing that I have to show you is from e.l.f. It looks like this. Um, it's called Exact Lash Mascara. Okay, so this looks like this and the brush is like that, if you can see. It's like super small. I like to use this for my bottom lashes because I think that the size is perfect. And I also feel like it really does make my bottom lashes look longer. Um, yeah, I just wanted to try this out and I love it so far. It was only $3, so why not? The next thing that I have to show you guys is from e.l.f. again. It's the Eyebrow Treat and Tame. It looks like this. Um, this part has the aloe in it. And um, let me see what else it has. It has vitamin E in it. And it is supposed to help your eyebrows grow in faster. So that's what it looks like this. And then the other side is the part that's actually going to tint your um, brows. It doesn't say it on the package, but I do believe that there are some fibers in it because it looks like this. And um, it's basically like a tinted fiber. It reminds me of the Benefit. Um, one, it comes in a few colors, but for $3, I just wanted to try it because I do like the Benefit one, but it's like 21 or something like that, $21, and I feel like this one could be a dupe. This concealer from e.l.f., I use this one all the time, I have it on now. Um, I don't really have heavy dark circles, so I really always just look for something that's gonna brighten my under eye area and give me a highlight, and it works for me. I have a friend who's actually this shade, and um, it works for her too, so it basically covers her dark circles, and it works well for her shade. Unfortunately, this one doesn't come in deeper colors for like my skin tone, so I think it'll work well as just like a highlight. The next thing that I have to show you guys are a few brushes. So I got them all from e.l.f. and they were all two dollars. This one is the fan brush for the highlighting. This one is a um, eyebrow duo brush with the schoolie and the eyebrow filling on the end. And then this one is just a crease brush. I really bought this one to like blend out when I highlight around my eyebrow. 
So yeah, for three dollars you can't go wrong, and I really love Elf's brushes because they last really long. The next thing that I have to show you is one of my um, favorite cheap eyeshadow palettes. It looks like this. It's the Wet n Wild one, and it's in the color I'm getting sunburned. That's what the uh, color is called. But yeah, I really like it because the purple is really pretty along with the eyelid color which is like a nice gold so it looks really nice all year round and um the good thing about this is that it comes with a liquid eyeliner i never tried um this brand liquid eyeliner before i usually like a more matte finish on my eyeliner so i'll see how that works that i have to show you is this sonia kashuk um kajal liner sorry it looks like this um I really really love this product because usually when I put eyeliner in my under eye it becomes so anyways um I really love this like I was saying because usually my under eye area gets really irritated I'm like allergic to a lot of um waterline eyeliners so this one hasn't given me that problem and it also doesn't like smudge and go down underneath my eye. Um, yeah, I really like the packaging also. I think it looks really cool. The one thing that I don't like about it is because I think that when this is finished, it's like done and then there's no way to like twist it or like, I don't know. So it gives like the illusion that there's a lot of product but it's really not, it's just like this. But I only paid like $5 for it, so I'll be gladly repurchasing this when I'm all finished. The next things that I got are these. So I got these from the dollar store. These are loose glitter bits. Um, they're kind of big. I don't know, the girls on my job were saying that they're kind of big to apply on the eyelid, but I think if... I pack it on in one area and don't like let it go all over the place. I think it'll be fine. Um, I saw Aaliyah J use loose glitter and um, the Too Faced glitter glue primer, and it looked really gorgeous on her. So I want to try it out myself. Maybe I'll do like a video on it once I like perfect it. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I just got it in gold, silver, black, and blue. And yeah, I'm really excited to try these. The thing that I have to show you guys is this e.l.f. Flawless Face Powder. Um, this one is supposed to eliminate, shine, treat, and prevent breakouts. Um, this one was only $1. It has salicylic acid in it, which obviously is going to help with your acne. Um, this is not my color. It's obviously a little bit darker for me. I really just got this to contour with because I've been looking for like new powders that I can use every day to contour with. I use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil sometimes. Um, sometimes I use Estee Lauder, sometimes I use Fashion Fair, and sometimes I use um, Black Opal or Black Radiance, whatever that brand is. But I've been looking for one that I can like use every single day, not like have to worry about applying too much, you know? So I'm really excited for this. I also want to see if this um, really does help with breakouts because I do have breakouts right over by my contour area. So, yep, I want to see if that works. Yeah, the next thing that I have to show you guys is this. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection. Um, this is basically like a blush and highlighter in one. It's called Rose Champagne Glow. It looks like this. It's really gorgeous. It's like really, really gorgeous. So anyways, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks like that. Just really love the packaging. I love that it's like a lot of product in here. Like this is huge. Like this is gonna last me for a very long time and I only paid like $6 for it. So I'm really excited to try it. And it'll be good for all skin tones also because it's like rosy, pinky, peachy, and highlightery, if that makes sense, so yeah. To show you is um, this lipstick it's called fantasy um, I paid a dollar for this one so anyways this is not a matte finish product this is going to be a little bit shiny but I don't mind because it is like a natural color it's 
It looks like that. It smells pretty good. Um, it's a really natural color. And yeah, I think this is a good everyday color. The next elf product that I have to show you is this acne fighting gel. Um, it's an acne treatment. It's four spots. It has salicylic acid in it, tea tree oil, witch hazel, and aloe. So um, I've tried this before. It's really worked for me. Um, I bought two of them just because I'm really desperate to try to stop these breakouts that keep occurring from hormonal issues, stuff like that. So yeah, anyways, um, I really like these. The next thing that I have to show you guys are these. These are by Dr. Dennis Groff. Um, they're basically like two-step peel treatment things. Um, it's the uh, extra strength formula. I haven't used the original strength formula before, but yeah, they say you're supposed to use that if you have dry, sensitive skin, which I do have, but I just jumped right into the extra strength and I really haven't had a problem with it. Basically, it's going to give your skin a glow. It removes the dead skin that's there. It also helps with breakouts because it has the salicylic acid in it. I feel like I'm always saying that word, salicylic acid. Like that's just a reoccurring ingredient in my life because it's breakouts. But anyways, every time I use this, oh my gosh, let me tell you, the next day I wake up and my skin just looks great. I do only use this in the nighttime because um, in the daytime, I feel like gonna leave your skin a lot more sensitive and like vulnerable to like the sunlight and everything else so I just prefer to use it at night. Final thing that I have to show you guys is this Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. It's in the shade So Hollywood and guys let me tell you that this shit right here gives me life. Look at the shade, y'all. This shade is the best. Hi, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to leave everything in the description box below. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know anything that you would like to see from me. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye.